Today we are beginning a series of stories about domestic violence in our communities. This topic, although it can make you uncomfortable, impacts so many and likely someone you know. One in three women and one in four men will be victims of domestic violence by an intimate partner in the U.S. That's according to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. About 15% of violent crime nationally is due to an intimate partner. But I need you to hear this. In Wyandotte County, that number is more than 30%. KSHB 41 anchor Dia Wall is joining us from Kansas City, Kansas, where she's sitting with victims as they work through that trauma. One of the places victims of domestic violence can turn to is the Friends of Yates. They have a history and a legacy here in KCK that's giving those coming from abuse new hope. We actually are the only domestic violence agency in Wyandotte County for the last 43 years. What does that mean? to you to be the one? You know, it, it, I think we provide a really important service because it's so needed in the community, but at the same time, there's so much more that we can do because the needs are so great. And the people are real. Women like Tessa, whose last name we won't share because she left a physically abusive partner after she was forced to reach out to police. They're the ones who made the call for me to get out of that situation and they're like, pack up a bag and let's go. And that's exactly what I did. How much did you sleep the first night? Oh, not at all. Maybe a couple hours. The next day, I actually got to set and meet the ladies. And instantly, as soon as I met them, I knew I was in the right place. Tonight, I am observing a group therapy session hosted by the Friends of Yates for victims of domestic violence. It's held at a confidential location to protect people just like Tessa, who fled abuse or danger. I really look forward to sharing how meetings like this, coupled with new efforts from the prosecutor and the police here, can save more lives. In KCK, I'm Dia Wall for KSHB 41 News.